Hello everyone. You clicked on this video because you are probably looking for a way to make your planner and journal design a lot easier and more streamlined. This is the first video in a series introducing to you how to use PDF linker, date your planners to hyperlink your planners, even text images that you use in your hyperlink PDFs. If you sell digital planners, printables, journals, this is the series for you. I have partnered with Camila, the creator of PDF Linker, bring you a series of videos showing you some of the most important and useful features of PDF Linker. To learn more about the software, you can click on the link in the description box. I will leave a link to her shop and to her YouTube channel. She has a whole YouTube channel with a lot more information, but I encourage you to watch this series first and then jump over there because it will answer a lot of basic questions about the software. In this video, Camila will show you how to use the connect data feature in Canva along with PDF linker to automatically and fully date your planner. This is done in Canva with the templates that you already have. You don't need to get anything new except that you will need the PDF linker software. What PDF linker does is will, it will generate all the dates for you and it will date your planner. You know, when you're creating a planner and you have to date it manually months, days, weeks, you don't have to do that anymore. You tell PDF linker what you want to date, whether you're doing like a yearly planner and you need from January 1st through January to December 31st, PDF linker will do it for you and will input that information into your PDF. Hard to believe. I know, but keep watching because Camila will show you exactly how to do that in a few clicks. You'll notice that it takes two to three minutes from beginning to end. No copy paste, no manual entry. These two softwares will do everything for you. Let's get to the tutorial. Hi everyone. This is a overview of PDF Linker. It does a lot of things. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you one thing at a time because showing you everything it does would be just overwhelming. So this is the main uh, PDF linker software and it now uh, comes with a companion software that is called linker CSV and I affectionately uh, refers to this as baby linker. <laughs> and I have made this so that everybody could just create their planners in any software that they like and then they can use PDF linker to add all of the links at the end so let's get started let's um, I, I, I'm thinking the easiest place to start is probably Canva so let's create a planner in Canva okay so the first thing I have is a cover page I have all of my um, months up here to link to all of my months and then I have my months all in a row and then I have my week numbers down here on each month page so that's the first section is just the cover and the months and that one is done so what we want to do now is we want to create our weekly pages but Nobody wants to go in there and create all those dates, so we're going to use bulk upload, uh, bulk create to do that. But we're going to use PDF Linker to create those dates for us. So in PDF Linker, we're going to click on Data Merge, and this will create a CSV with all of the dates for you, the weekly dates, depending on the dates you put in. You can choose a different format. This B is the long form date with the actual month. Uh, written out in text and then of course these are just the numbers year month day month day year so I like the month written out in text followed by the day followed by the year that's just my preference so you can use this um, data merge CSV creation with any um, platform that uses data merge like InDesign or Affinity um, well, I'm not sure the other ones, but I know those two do, and I'm sure lots of others do too. If you have a preference on the software that you like to create your planners in, it's hard to learn a new software. So 
we are going to just create our uh, CSV for we're just going to create our dates for the weekly dates and this is going to be December 31st because I'm going to do a Monday start date and we're going to end this on January 4th and we're going to generate our weekly CSVs it's going to pop up a um, box to prompt me to save it so I'm just going to save that in CSV weekly Canva and just name it weekly and it's done so now I want to do the same thing for the daily dates but we have to do those um, as we go for some reason Canva doesn't like it <laughs> I have found that I have to go back and recreate them so I just do it one at a time so let's let's do our uh, daily or our weeklies so let's go down to here to our apps and then we will go to bulk create I'm gonna upload the CSV that uh, PDF linker just created for us and there it is so then I'm just going to click on this right click on the text where I want to put the date and say connect data and click on the date for some reason it didn't like that so let's do it again connect data date there we go now it liked it so I'm going to continue and it's going to make 53 um, weeks and put the correct date in there so I'm just going to click generating and then it's going to open a new project to create the, all of those weeklies so I'm going to save that as weekly section and that's done so I don't really need this weekly anymore because I have my weekly section done so this is the daily page so now we need to go into PDF linker let's just grab him back up here and we are going to generate our daily pages daily CSVs now and I have found that and we'll test it as we go here I have found that Canva doesn't like it when I create all of the CSVs at one time I don't know why I can, couldn't figure that one out so but we're gonna go from December 31st to March uh, 31st of 2024 and I'm going to tell it to generate those daily dates and I'm just going to name that January to March and now let's go in here and do the same thing we're going to go to our bulk create upload the CSV that we just created and we saved that in daily January there we go and it's already connected so all we have to do is say yes we want to create those designs and this would be our January to March now I'm going to come back here back this up to step one where we update uh, create upload our CSV and then I'm going to create the CSV for April let's do April through June and let's see if it'll let us upload that yep there we go so then I would continue to do that for the whole year and that's how you can have PDF linker create the dates to use as the bulk import for Canva in the next video we will download all of our sections and uh, merge them all together and then create the CSVs to link them Thank you for staying until the end of the video. PDF Linker is truly a unique software that will change the games in printable creation, in digital planner creation.
And I believe that everyone who creates digital products, especially dated and hyperlinked digital products can truly benefit from this software. Check the description below for a link to learn more about it. PDF Linker can be used with any other software that you are already using in your business to design your planners, whether it's Canva, Affinity, PowerPoint, Keynote, it doesn't matter. They work all in conjunction. It can be for Apple users and also for Windows users. Yep, it pretty much does it all. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I am happy to answer your questions. Check out all the links. Check out Camila's channel for even more tutorials. And if you want to see more on how to use PDF Linker, leave me some suggestions below because we are happy to make your life with that software a lot easier. See you on the next one.